Dear student, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Dibuti? I hope you are all fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine, alhamdulillah. Today, I am going to take an online class for the student of class 8, Subject Islam and Moral Education, Chapter 1, Lesson 5, Topic, Khatamun Nabuat. I am Hind Abdul Salam, Senior Teacher, Square School and College, Babna. Dear student, do you know what is called the finality of prophethood? Khatamun Nabuat. Our today's topic, Khatamun Nabuat. Now, learning outcome after this lesson. Students will be able to know the definition of Khatamun Nabuat will be able to know the evidence of Khatamun Nabuat, will be able to explain the significance of Khatamun Nabuat. Now the definition of Khatamun Nabuat. The word Khatamun stands for the end, the closing, and Nabuat stands for prophethood, responsibility of prophets. So, Khatamun Nabuat means the closing of the prophethood. From time to time, Allah has sent many prophets and the soul to guide, that means Hidayat, mankind. This process of sending the prophets and Rasul starting with Hajrat Adam and Islam and ended with the appearance of Hajrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The end of the gradual appearance of the prophets and Rasul is termed as Khatamun Nabuat. The holy person with whom this very process ended is the Khatamun Nabiin and he is known but our holy prophet Hajjot Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now the significance of Khatamun Nabuat. Our beloved Prophet Hajjot Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the greatest and last Prophet, the Khatamun Nabiin. Henceforth, no other prophet has come and also will not come up till the doomsday, that means Kiamat. The process of sending the prophets and Rasul has ended through him. It is necessary to have faith in Khatamun Nabat. So, no one can be believed without having faith in it. Now the evidence of Khatamun Nabuat. The great Prophet of the Muhammad was the last Prophet. The gradual process of Nabuat has found its fuller completeness through him. It has been clearly manifested in many references of Holy Quran. We will come to know some examples of Khatamun Nabuat in the following parts. Now the documents of the Quran. Allah the Almighty has called our Prophet Muhammad Khatamun Nabi, the last of all the prophets in the Holy Quran. Allah the Great says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ma kana Muhammadun Aba Ahadim bin Rijalikum. ولكن للرسول الله وقاتم النبيين Meaning, Muhammad is not the father of any male person of you. Rather, he is Allah's Rasul and the last prophet. Surah Al-Ahjab, Ayat 40 Now the reference in the Holy Quran the proof of Khatamun Nabuat is evident in many hadiths in the following way. 
One, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Ana khatamun nabiin la nabiya baati." Meaning, I am the last prophet, and no other prophet is to come after me. Sahih Muslim. Number two, the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam further says, "The process of." of risalat and nabuwat has been stopped no other prophet or rasul is to come after me number 3 our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the prophets would lead the bani israel when a prophet would die the next prophet was entrusted with the duty to lead But no prophet is to come after me. Sahih Bukhari. Number four. In one of the hadiths, our prophet has explained the khatamun nabuwa through an example. He says, "The evidence of me and my former prophets is that." A man built a beautiful, decorated it beautifully and attractively, but there remain a vacant space of a brick. While enjoying the beauty of the buildings all around, the people were surprised to express why was there no brick. there in fact i am that brick and i am the last prophet sahi bukhari there was only one brick left to set the whole buildings as soon as a brick is set in the vacant space the whole building appeared completely marvelous Similarly, Nabuwat resembles a building in which the last brick is our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The last brick of the building, said by him, brought the completeness of the building. So it is not required any more to set a brick any higher of the buildings. that means no prophet is to come any more now the logical evidence we can prove khatamun nubuwwat with logic in light of logic it is seen that the arrival of one prophet is usually flowing by another for three reasons for example a In case of the extension or distortion of the teachings of the former prophet, B. In case of the incompleteness or inclusion exclusion of the former prophet's teaching, C. In case of the fixation of the former prophet's teaching for a particular place or time. Now the proof of logical evidence. No of the regions mentioned above is applicable at present because one, the teachings or ideals of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are still existent without any extension or distortion. So, no new prophet is to come in future. Number two, the teachings and religions of Rasulullah Wasallam are perfectly complete, having no incompleteness, imperfections, no inclusion, exclusion. Allah the Almighty says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. اليوم اكملت لكم دينكم واتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الاسلام دينا meaning today 
I have fulfilled your religion for you, Islam, completely. Completed my blessings, Miyamot, on you and nominated Islam as your religion. Surah al maida Ayat 3. Number 3. Prophet Muhammad did not come for a particular place or time, rather, he is the prophet of all prophets of all mankind of all places till Stumdi. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wama arsalna ka illa ka fatan. Illa ka fatal linda si bashira wa nadir. Meaning, I have sent you as the mouthpiece of good news and ordering the whole mankind. Surah as saba Ayat 28 Allah, the Almighty says also Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Qul ya ayyuhan nasu inni rasulullahi ilaykum jamiya Meaning Say, dear mankind, I am the Rasul of Allah for all of you. Surah Al-Araf Ayat 158 Not a single of the three regions for the appearance of the Prophet is applicable at the present time. So, no new Prophet is to come anymore. Our Prophet Muhammad is the last Prophet, the Khatamun Nabi. Now the homework. I, that means Muhammad, am the last Prophet and no other Prophet is to come after me. Explain the Hadith with the logical evidence. Allah Hafiz.